These are plant cells. And this is what happens when a plant cell is placed in a concentrated salt water solution. Plant cells contain both a cell wall and a cell membrane. The cell wall is rigid and creates a supportive frame for the cell. The cell membrane, however, is soft and can easily change shape. When these cells are placed in a salt solution, osmosis takes place, which is the diffusion of water. Water moves down its concentration gradient from an area that has a high concentration of water to an area that has a low concentration of water. As a result, the cell shrinks as it loses water. This process is called plasmolysis. The cell membrane can be seen collapsing as the cell loses water. This can be seen a lot easier when the footage is sped up. It's also the same process that causes plants to wilt as they dehydrate from water loss. Plasmolysis and wilting are reversible, except in extreme cases. Plants with soft tissue stay firm with turgor pressure. Turgor pressure is the pressure of water in the cell membrane pushing against the cell wall. Plants with woody tissue can stay firm upon loss of turgor pressure, although the soft tissues will still wilt. This process can also be seen in animal cells. Here are some human red blood cells. Red blood cells have a typical biconcave shape as seen here. Visible in this shot is a white blood cell. The same thing happens when I put these cells in a concentrated salt water solution. Focus on this cell here. When the footage is sped up, the cell can be seen shrinking and changing shape as the cell loses water. Red blood cells end up having a spiky appearance. This process is known as crenation. Crenated cells can occur artificially as seen here, and they could also be present in some diseases. It is rare to see crenated red blood cells in a hydrated, healthy animal. This cell here actually gains water and returns to its original shape. I have no idea why it does that. Considering the cell above it, which is only a few micrometers away, does the opposite and shrinks. It seems as each cell responds differently. Maybe because these cells all have a different age, or maybe it's something else. Given enough time, most cells will lose water and eventually shrink. <laughs>